Hello guys, in this video I want to discuss inclusion and exclusion principle in set theory. Uh, so let's start with this example. If we have a set A with elements 1, 2 and 3, we know what is the cardinality of a finite set. And the cardinality of the finite set is just the number of the elements. So in this case, I have three elements, so cardinality is three. Uh, but what if I have two sets? I have set A with one, two, three, and set B with element two, three, and four. And I'm interested to find not only the cardinality of B, but I'm interested to find the cardinality of A union B. So, in this particular example, it's really easy to do. What I need to do, I just need to take A union B, and you know by definition A union B, that there is an element that lies in A and in B. So, uh, my A's element is 1, 2, 3, and my B element is 2, 3, and 4, so I have one extra. And by definition of cardinality, you can see A union B uh, has four elements, so A union B equals to four. Okay, you can ask me, in this example, it was one particular example, but what if I'm given any two finite uh, subsets uh, A and B, and I'm interested to find the formula, what is A union B, so this is uh, inclusion-exclusion principle for two sets. And I want to write this formula in terms of uh, set A, set B, and set A intersection B. And I want to write this formula as a cardinality. Okay, and let's try to guess formula in this case. So here I can see uh, how many elements I have in A. I have three elements. How many elements I have in B? I also have three elements. How many elements I have A intersection B? A intersection B is just going to be the element that lies inside A and inside B. So I have only two and three. So I have two and three. So the number of elements in A intersection B equals to two. And then when I get these numbers, I can look at them and try to guess. Okay, so how I can get number four? I can take uh, three plus two minus three is five is two, no. But if I'm gonna take three plus three is six and six minus two is four, so I will get exactly four. So I'm guessing it's gonna be three plus three minus two. And yes, indeed, it equals to four. But let's uh, write instead of numbers, our actual cardinality of our sets. So we claim that is uh, that a cardinality of a union b is cardinality of a plus cardinality of b minus cardinality of a intersection b. Okay, so we have some statement, and let's give intuitive proof by using Venn diagrams. Uh, so let's discuss. Okay, let's discuss the proofs. So in this case, let's draw set A. And set B. So this is A and this is B. And let's say I want to find uh, the cardinality of A. And the cardinality of A is going to be the number of elements in my set A. So you can see it's going to be exactly like this amount of elements. Cardinality of B is going to be uh, the blue lines. And the cardinality of A union B is going to be combination of green lines and blue lines. But you can see, so when you're counting your cardinality of A union B, so cardinality of A is green lines, cardinality of B is blue ones, but when you're counting the number of elements, you can see that this region, which is exactly A intersection B, you count these elements two times. Why? Because this element lies inside A and inside B. So when you're counting elements of A, and you also counting an elements of B, and if there's in their intersection is not empty, you're counting these elements two times. So that's why you need to subtract A intersection B.
in order like not to count it to that. Yeah, and this is formula for when A and B is finite. Thank you for watching.